office equipment. In this picture, you see one, two, three, four, five, etc. Number one is a tape dispenser. Number two is a paper clip holder. Number three is a ruler. Number four are paper clips. Number five are bulldog clips or number seven is scissors. Number eight is correction fluid, white out, or in English, in British, we call it tipex. Number nine is a pencil sharpener. Number 10 is a calculator. Number 11 is a stapler. 12 are staples. 13 is a pen. 14 is a pencil. 15 is an eraser or a rubber. 16 is a highlighter. 17 is a hole punch and 18 are rubber bands. A paper clip is a small piece of metal or wire that holds pieces of paper together. A bulldog clip is bigger and works better when you have to keep large amounts of paper together. Some people have paper clip holders that are small transparent boxes with a magnet rim with an opening at the top of them. This was if you drop all the paper clips, it is easy to pick them back up with the magnet. A paper clip keeps papers together temporarily, but if you want to do it permanently, you use a stapler. In fact, a stapler works so well that to disconnect the papers, you need another special tool called a stapler remover. When you need to cut paper or other objects, you should use scissors. They safely cut the paper and are easy to use. A calculator is a small electronic device that helps you to solve math problems. Business cards are small pieces of card with your name and contact information written on them. You carry the cards around so that you can give them to different people, especially at meetings. A calendar has all the days of the month in it so you know what day it is today. Many people keep desk calendars on the top of their desk so that they can always see their schedule and so that they won't forget different meetings and events. An organizer is a small book that allows you to keep tasks of everything. Inside it there is normally a calendar filled with your schedule as well as other important information that you need, including contact numbers for other people. It is also called an appointment book or personal planner. Rather than carry it with you or have it on top of your desk, some people prefer to have a wall planner hanging beside the desk, which shows all the days of the year at a time. When you make a mistake with a pen, you need correction fluid, tipex or whiteout to cover the mistake. It is a liquid that you can put on paper to cover a mistake and then you can write over it again. However, if you are writing with a pencil, you can use a rubber or an eraser to make the mistake go away. When reading through long documents, or studying, it is a good idea to use a highlighter in order to put the important facts in a bright color. Carbon paper is a type of blue paper that you put between two pieces of normal paper. When you write on the top sheet of paper, it 
will make a copy of what you wrote on the bottom sheet of paper. A clipboard is a small piece of wood or plastic with a clip at the top so that you can attach the paper to it and write while standing. A desk lamp is a special lamp that sits on top of a desk and directs the light downward onto the paper you are writing. A computer is normally the most important tool in an office. Many people type all over Many people type all of their important information into it. The monitor of the computer is the part that has a screen on it, like a television, so that you can see all of the information. Many monitors today are flat screens. A laptop is a type of portable computer that is smaller and can be carried and used in different places. Now, with new technology, many people use a Wi-Fi to connect to the internet without cords or cables. They can take their laptops anywhere and work outside of the office. Before people had computers, they used electric typewriters. And before that, they used normal typewriters. Masking tape is normally a light brown colored tape that is not very sticky and only holds things up for a short time. Scotch tape is a clear adhesive and many times called sellotape. Normally you keep the tape in a tape dispenser which keeps the end of the roll separated from the rest of it. This way, you don't need to waste time trying to pull the tape apart. Glue is an adhesive that sticks two objects together. Be careful when you use it not to stick your fingers together. Another name for glue is paste. A glue stick is when the glue is not liquid but is a soft solid. It is easier to spread a glue stick than normal glue and normally less messy. The in tray is where you stack all of the papers of the work you still have to do. Sometimes this pile of papers can become very large. Once you finish with your work you put it in the out box or out tray there are different ways to write a letter to someone. One way is to write a regular letter on regular paper and put it inside an envelope. Nowadays, most people use a computer and send an email. A file cabinet is a large piece of furniture designed specifically to hold stacks of paper. The papers are organized into folders that hang inside the cabinet. The folders are often called files or file folders, thus giving the cabinet its name. Other important furniture in an office includes the desk where you write and have your computer. You can also find a bookcase or a bookshelf where you keep all of your different reading material. Some people do not have their own office. Rather, they share a large room and have cubicles. This is a work area with small walls that don't reach the ceiling, that separate workers but do not close them off completely. There is usually a whiteboard in an office where you can write notes or messages for all to see. It is sometimes used to give presentations. The pens that you use for a whiteboard are called dry erase markers or marker pens. 
and you can erase the information you wrote with them once you have finished. A fax machine takes a piece of paper, copies it, and then sends the image over to a phone line to another fax machine in a different office. At the other end, the image is copied onto another piece of paper for them to read. Unlike a fax machine, a photocopier takes the image from the piece of paper and copies it, but doesn't send it to another place. Photocopiers are used to make many copies of the same paper. Making photocopies is normally a job given to the newest person at work. A printer allows for information from the computer to be printed onto a piece of paper. A rubber band is a circular piece of rubber that stretches and holds things together, or closes a bag. If you have a lot of mail, you might want to use a letter opener, a type of knife that can open all of the envelopes so that you don't get a paper cut. A legal pad is like a notebook, but the papers are connected at the top of the page instead of from the left side. Normally, the paper is yellow. Important people often have a name plate sitting on the front of their desk. It is often a very nice small sign that has their name and a title printed on it. Many people have small pieces of yellow paper covering the wall of their office with small bits of information written on them. These pieces of paper are called post-it notes and have a sticky part at one end of the paper. Rather than have small papers all over the office, some people prefer to keep their offices more organized, writing down small notes in a notepad or a memo pad. A notice board is where messages are left for the entire office to see, with different information shared by everyone. A push pin allows you to attach a piece of paper to a notice board. A hole punch is used to create holes on the left side of a paper so that the papers can be organized inside of a binder. A desk tidy or organizer is a box or container with a lid that has several different compartments for different items. This allows you to keep your pens, rubber bands, paper clips and other objects separate. For official documents, a rubber stamp is used to leave a mark on the paper to prove that you gave it your approval. A stamp pad is a device that has ink for the rubber stamp. Many people today do not have regular telephones in their office, homes or anywhere. Instead, they use only their cell phones because it can go anywhere with them. When you are bored at work and you don't want to be productive, take a break and spin around in your swivel chair. Also, try throwing balls of paper into the waste paper basket or trash can.